Hi neighbors, I wanted to stop by to just let you know a little bit about what God has been teaching me. Um, here recently I've been thinking about how we need to fall in love with Jesus every single day. And I work a lot with people that are coming off the streets, they're homeless, uh, they need food, um, and a lot of them are just really in despair. And honestly, that may be some of you who are listening to this right now. And um, God wants us to have access to His love each and every day. And sometimes we forget that we need to fall in love with who He is, and that will enrich our lives more and more. The prayer that Paul prays to the Ephesian church in chapter 3 of Ephesians, um, he says, and I quote, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. He then goes on to say, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to be to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus. I wanted to remind you today that God loves you more than you could ever imagine. And I know that's hard. We try to reason God's love and we try to find logic in God's love through the very things we see every day. But even that can't uh, really put into a tangible way of understanding how much He loves us. But one thing that I believe that God wants us to do, He wants to seek, us, seek Him out in prayer. He wants us to understand who Jesus is. And more importantly, He wants to understand that He has all power to do all things. So if you're feeling hopeless, and if you're feeling like you're in despair, I want to remind you that God loves you more than you could ever imagine. And that's just what God has been teaching me.